Hello, welcome to day number four of this year's Summer Holiday Club, The Heart of a King. It's good to see you again. I've been thinking about yesterday and those ferocious animals, the lions and bears, and how the sheep had to be protected. It made me think about David and what it must have been like when he was out in the field. Can you imagine if a lion or a bear was to come up and you had to protect the animals? I don't know if I could do it. It tells us that David was extremely brave. Do you know that David went through so many difficult times in his life as well? But David always trusted God. It made me think about the times that we go through, the times that we find challenging and really difficult, maybe times when we just don't know what to do. Well, in those times, we can be like David and we can take what's on our heart to God, to trust God, knowing that God is with us and God will be with us every step of the way. It made me think that maybe today we should start by praying, praying about those difficult times that we face. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you are always with us. You know that sometimes we find things extremely difficult. There are times in life that challenge us, times when we just don't know what to do. We ask that you help us to trust in you, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that was wonderful to start with prayer. I wonder what we're going to do now. I thought it would be a good time to start with our song and dance, A Heart for God. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's get ready for our dance. Are you ready? One, two, three. David, he was a shepherd boy. Hey, hey, David, he was the chosen one. He was not the tallest, he was not the strongest, but David had a heart for God. His brothers were warriors. Ha, ha, David. The youngest one. He was not the tallest, he was not the strongest, but David had a heart for God. He played the harp, ping, 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 and sang to God. Protected sheep, gave thanks to God. He fought the lion, roar, and the bear. God was with him. He had no fear, David, he was a shepherd boy. Hey, hey, David, he was a chosen one. He was not the tallest, he was not the strongest, but David had a heart for God. David had a heart for God. Yes, David had a heart for God. Yeah! Well done! I really felt the groove that time. I think the more we do it, the easier it gets. So well done for joining in. Okay, we are now going to settle down to find out what happened in the next part of the story. Do you remember I told you there will be giants and we will also hear about the lions and the bears. So settle yourself down, chin in, and let's find out what happened next. Hi, okay, so are you all settled down for the story today? Great. Well, listen, you have a part to play in this story today. 
because every time I say certain words, there are actions to them. So it's a little bit of a challenge. You'll need to listen out for the word and you'll need to remember the action as we go through. Are you ready to hear what those words are? Right, the first one you will hear a lot. It is king. And when you hear the word king, take your hands on both sides of your head and put them there to show the crown on top of the head. So that's for king. Do that with me now. Great. Okay, the next word that you are going to hear is giant. And when you hear the word giant, take both your hands and then extend, reach up with the top one, pull down with the bottom one to show the height of the giant and pull it up as far as you can go. Okay, so when you hear giant, do it with me. Here we are. Oh. And all the soldiers are so small in comparison to the big giant. The giant in this story is over nine feet tall. Do you know how big nine foot is? Let me just tell you, it is big. Okay, so we've got the giant and then we've got the lion. You know this one because we do the lion every day in our song. In fact, we've just done it a moment ago. So let's do the lion. There we are, running and getting the paw out in front, ready to attack. And you might want to do the roar. Okay. And can you guess what the next one is? It's bear. So when you hear the word bear, again, just like you do in the song, take your hands into fist shapes like this, that shows strength, pull them into the side and stretch up nice and tall because a bear, when it's on its hind legs, is a little bit like a giant too. There we are, huge ferocious bear. Excellent. So let's do those actions again. King, giant, lion, roar, and bear. Okay. You've got it. So listen out and do the actions and we'll find out what happened when King Saul was on the battlefield. Samuel's left. What will happen next? So King Saul was on the battlefield and now he was just a little bit confused because he had been told that God rejected him. Samuel had left. And there he was. And when he looked at the army of the enemy, there were so many of them. King Saul looked and he knew that this situation was a very bad situation. The enemy had better weapons. They had more soldiers in their army. And then when King Saul looked, he seen his soldiers run. So scared were they that some hid in pits and some hid in caves and even some went across to the other side and joined forces with the enemy because they were so sure that the battle with King Saul was going to end in a very bad way. Now the thing is, King Saul still continued to do things his own way. Trouble, trouble, trouble. There was just trouble all the time. Now King Saul felt very troubled himself. It wasn't just that there were battles after battles. King Saul got no rest. He was always full of worry. He was always carrying this negative feeling with him. It wasn't good. He didn't feel good. Someone suggested that maybe Hearing some beautiful music would help King Saul to relax, to find some peace. And they suggested a shepherd boy by the name of David. So David came and he played his harp. Ding, 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 ding. And every time he played his harp, the king felt much, much better. So often David would go to King Saul 
and he would play the music there. Then the time came where there was no time for music because there was another battle and the enemies came and they lined up and again the people of Israel were full of fear. King Saul just didn't know what to do. This time in the army there was a huge giant, a giant by the name of Goliath, Goliath from the city of Gath and they all gathered round. And the giant stood forward and he said, just send one of your best men and I will take them down. Well, nobody wanted to go out against the giant. Day after day, the giant came forward. And again, some of the soldiers in Israel ran away. Some of them hid. And King Saul didn't know what to do. Now, King Saul was the tallest, about a head taller than anybody else. So he was the one that would be closer to the height of the giant. But the giant was huge. So they were in fear. Now, David's brothers were warriors. Three of the eldest brothers were also there. And David's father was extremely worried. So he said to David, quick, take this food. And he filled a sack full of bread and grain and cheese. Take it to the battlefield and give it to the commander. And when you go, find out how your brothers are and come back and let me know. Well, when David arrived, he saw what was happening. And Goliath, the giant, stepped forward and challenged the army of Israel again. Send just one of your men. Well, it just, who would do it? Who would be so silly to go up against a giant? David was saying, what on earth is going on? Who is this giant that defies the armies of God? David knew that God could take down this giant. So David said, Fear not, for I will go. I will go and take down the giant. Well, his brothers looked. You're just a shepherd boy. And King Saul looked and said, You can't go. You're the smallest. Look at that giant. But David said, When I look after my father's sheep, there have been times when the lion and the bear have come to try and take the sheep away and not one of them have been harmed because I have taken down the lion and the bear. God delivered me from the paw of the lion. God delivered me from the bear and God will also be with me when I slay this giant and take him down. So King Saul knowing that there wasn't any other option and seeing that David trusted God said okay and he took his armor off and he dressed David but David was so small that it weighed him down and it was the wrong size. He said King Saul I'm sorry but I can't wear this it's too big and I'm not used to it I don't wear this when I'm protecting the sheep I will go out. I do not need the weapons. So he went forward and took a pouch and placed five smooth pebbles inside. And David approached the giant. And the giant came forward and he laughed. <laughs> this boy, you have sent this boy. Do you think I'm like a dog that you can throw a stick and I will fetch it? And he said to David, I will crush you. I will kill you, you silly, silly boy. And David said, you come at me with sword and shield, but I come at you in the name of God and God will have the victory. And he put his stone in his slingshot, pulled it back and fired it. And it hit the giant 
square in the middle of the head and all of a sudden the giant came tumbling down. So David won the battle because he fought the giant and the victory was God's. And then everybody looked at David and thought, David is the best person here. No longer was he just a young shepherd boy. They realised he trusted God. God was with him and with him so many things would be possible. And there you have it. David took down the lion and the bear and he also took down the giant. What happens next? I don't know. You'll need to tune in tomorrow to find out. It's been lovely being here with you today. Have fun with the craft session later on and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now. See you at 12 for crafts and the daily challenge. Bye for now.